fade in. Exterior, the moon, day. NASA footage of lunar rover bouncing along the surface of the moon. Moonscape looms in. In the background, a woman sings Dvorak's song to the moon. Moon, linger for a moment. Tell me where my beloved is. Interior, lunar station, day. Astronaut Ross Miller, 20s, lies on a couch reading Isaac Asimov's Pebble in the Sky. Sips wine. Lunar landscape appears in round picture window behind him. Bottle of wine labeled Moondavi sits on the coffee table. Fellow astronaut Jill Cameron, 20s, appears holding space helmet. Sets it on coffee table. Hi, Ross. Ross sits up. Where were you, Jill? You've been gone for hours. Oh, I was just out exploring in the rover. The rover? You're not supposed to be out alone in the rover. I know, but you were asleep and I didn't want to wake you. Ross grabs her hand, pulls her down next to him, caresses her face. Well, I missed you. Ross goes to kiss her. Jill pulls away. No, not now, Ross. I don't feel so good. I think I'm coming down with something. Ross puts a hand on her forehead. What? You don't feel feverish? It's something else. I... I didn't want to tell you. Now you're beginning to worry me, Jill. What? Jill stands. I... Uh... Oh, you're not going to believe this, Ross. I met a moon man. A moon man? You're kidding. No, really. I was out exploring in this cave and he just jumped out of nowhere. Scared the hell out of me, let me tell you. You can't imagine, but he turned out to be really nice. A real gentleman, you know? What? How was I supposed to know he had something? Ross stands. You caught something from a moon man. Jill touches a cold sore on her lip. I think so. Well, maybe. You got that from a moon man? What were you doing? We we were just fooling around. Fooling around? Fooling around. Ross pushes her away. Fooling around with a moon man? You were sucking on his ding-dong, weren't you? No, no, he didn't have a ding-dong. Just some sort of a thingy. A thingy? Well, I, I don't know. What would you call it? A uh, probe? Tasted like green cheese. Jill picks with a thumbnail at something stuck between her teeth, looks at it thoughtfully, sucks it off. Maybe a hint of chive. So it's a probe now, is it? He didn't happen to have any little friends with him, did he? E.T., the Martian, Robbie the Randy Robot, a little intergalactic gangbang? No, no, Roz. It was just this one guy. Moon Man. I swear. So this means no sex now, does it? Well, not till I can get checked out back on Earth, I guess. You think they've got tests for this sort of thing, Ross? Tests? For STDs? You space-traveling degenerate? Ross angrily grabs Helmet from the coffee table. What are you doing? Where are you going? I'm going to go find me a moon woman, that's what. Two can play that game, Jill. Just be glad you're not on Venus. Venus? Why Venus? Ever hear of venereal disease? Venus, the goddess of love? They probably got all kinds on Venus. But don't worry, Jill. I'll bring a condom. In case she's got a thingy, too. A thingy for me. Ross leaves in a huff. Jill watches him go. Makes a face. Picks up his glass of wine. Facing window, sings Amore. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's Amore. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's Amore. Jill sips wine, purses her lips with a kiss at the window, makes Italian gesture with her fingers. My moon, a man. You are out of this world. Mwah!
Fade out.